Hello, welcome to the Millionaire Woman Show, where we'll be discussing leadership, business, and human potential, inspiring you to live rich from the inside out, unlock your creativity, stretch out of your comfort zone, break through your barriers, take inspired action, and achieve epic results. Now, here's your host, two-time best-selling author, speaker, and certified executive coach, Deborah Kosowski. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Millionaire Woman Show. This is your host, Deborah Kozowski, and I'm excited to talk to you about topics of leadership, business, and of course, human potential. Today, we are talking about change your routines, change your habits. Jim Rowan said, motivation is what gets you started. Habits are what keep you going. Our habits are foundational to our success. I've been studying personal development for decades now, and it always fascinates me to learn the success habits of powerful people in life, in leadership, and in business. I love learning about how people grow and transform their lives. Success leaves clues. We just need to look for it. And it's so important to pay attention. Over the years, I've adapted and adjusted my own routines to find out what works best for me. And I know you can as well. If I made you pause over the last statement about changing routines to change and create new habits, then I've succeeded. There is a difference between habits and routines. A routine is when you have a routine, you have a set of habits. You have a regular way of doing things. And routines require you to think until you get it so set unconsciously. So it takes a, can take a lot of energy at the beginning. But don't worry, you won't expend that too much energy because eventually it will be something that becomes unconscious. Okay. On the other hand, you have habits. Habits are those continual set of behaviors, a repeated way that you do things. And you often do not even think about it. It's unconscious. They are very important into adding structure to a chaotic schedule of needing to do many things or be many places. You will notice on ch when we were kids, we thrived on having that structure in place and routines. As we became adults, we became exposed to new things, some things serving us and some things not. When you get into the habit of doing things a certain way, it's easy to become comfortable. Staying in this place can get people stuck, dissatisfied with the way things are. There is no challenge. Even the greatest athletes can learn to change things up. They fine-tune their skills. You may have heard that Tiger Woods has changed up his swing. And this is where he adjusts and adapts to become even better. Wayne Gretzky changed the way he skated on the ice for variety and to see just what would happen if I did something just a different way. You only grow outside of your comfort zone and growth comes from new experiences and lessons. If everything stays the same, how will you grow? Create a 21 day challenge for yourself to do one thing every day that helps you step out of your comfort zone. Stepping out of your comfort zone puts you in the place of being in the new experiences in which you see yourself from different perspective, challenge assumptions, and stretch into your potential. And you may even take bigger calculated risks. According to researchers, it does take 21 to 66 days to change or create a new habit. It all starts with routines. Examine how your day looks. What do you do each day that you set yourself up for success? I know some of you are shouting coffee. I can't start the day without coffee. So I'm sorry I can't relate because I don't drink coffee. However, I can understand how this can be something that's really important to many of you. But take some time to think about the routines that you have put in place to help get yourself out the door and busy doing what you do best. 
what you do without even thinking about it. So for example, some people have a smoke after a meal. And we're not talking that this is necessarily a good habit. It's not. And they might have been doing this for many years. And it's something they just do after eating. It can become routine. If they change up the routine, then they can change the habit. Smoking after meals. Change the activity. Maybe you go for a short walk instead. You don't have that association. So maybe you have a habit of retail therapy. And the mall is your trigger to spend. Go with a list or freestanding store instead of going into a mall. You can also um, not take your credit cards with you. Or change association, change routine, change habit. How you start your day is often how you're going to end it. So start creating a morning routine and a schedule that serves you. And here are just a few things that you can be doing. Spend time in silence. Clear your head. I find that some people jump out of bed from the moment they're gone till the very night when they put their head on the pillow. They don't have any silence in their life. It's almost like they're afraid to be alone with their thoughts. You can decide to pray, meditate, and when you are in a state of calmness, you are open and ready to receive. You often, when your head is clear, you can listen to your intuition speaking to you. Repeat powerful affirmations. Watch an empowering video or listen to a podcast to get your head in the game. Write down three things that you're grateful for. Why not send a gratitude card? Journal your thoughts, trials, and tribulations to gain a clear perspective of the supportive and non-supportive stories you might be having playing in your head. Let your mind wander over possibilities and look for solutions. Visualize and focus on outcomes that you want to achieve. Feel. What would it feel like to achieve those things? Be in that moment. What do you need to do? become or have to have those things that you visualize. Ensure that you're getting regular exercise. Get that blood flow in your body. Often, if you didn't know this, if you have a big project or a test or something that you need to be doing, it's really great to go get some exercise. Get yourself on a stationary bike for 20, 30 minutes. The blood flow will then, when you finish, goes to the prefrontal cortex and it's awesome for times when you need focus on concentration. So get some exercise into your life. Read or listen to a book in your industry or even personal development. And it can be 10 minutes. You don't have to read the whole entire book. Digest a little bit, think about it, reflect on it, and see if there's something that you can now, what you've learned, to implement into the work that you do. Create a routine, establishes a habit that serves you. Change things up. Put those routines in place that are serving you not instead of not serving you. Set yourself up for success. Become self-aware of what habits are serving you and what habits are not. This is an important exercise. Just sit down and write down some of the habits that you have. Suppose you are an entrepreneur and you put all your receipts in a shoebox and at the end of the year, you organize them, you give them to your accountant. How do you know how much money you have on a regular basis? And how will that impact the, the decisions that you make and the flow of, without knowing the flow of money coming in and out? To change routine, you could keep a spreadsheet, set aside part or a whole day to focus on working on your numbers every week. You could hire a bookkeeper and set aside time to connect, scan, turn over receipts, break the habit. Swap the habit, create a new habit by changing your routine. Routines are so important and we take so often focusing on the habit, but if you're not changing up the routine, you're not going to see the change that sticks. So figure out what habit is serving you, what habits aren't serving you, and really dig deep and take a look and examine those routines that you have in place. And is there anything you need to change in those routines so the habits change? I'm your host, Deborah Kozowski. I am so grateful that you have joined us. I would love for you to go over to iTunes 
and uh, give us a five star high five. I want to invite you. We're having a business brilliance event where I am hosting three days in White Court, Alberta, September 12th, 13th, and 14th. Three days jam packed. We're going to be talking about money, magnificence, and mindset to really get people and take them to a whole new level. I would love for you to join me. And also go over to my website at www.debrakazowski.com and sign up for our newsletter. You will get a free ebook called The 21 Habits High Achievers Kick to Achieve Success. Let's get you on your path to success and really thrive in business, leadership, or human potential. As Mahama Gandhi said, be the change you wish to see in the world. And as always, I wish you a wonderful, wonderful day. Go out and make today great.